Fignition is primarily an educational DIY 8-bit computer. It's very much like an early 80s computer, a bit better than a ZX81, not quite as good as a Spectrum. But the whole idea is that it's a computer that's been designed down so that it's simple enough to be both built, coded and understood. One of the real advantages that we have at the moment is that there's a growing movement of makers and hobbyists in both the electronics world and also interfacing with different sort of fields like for example here we have textiles and we have 3D replicators and, and that kind of thing. So there's a variety of fields coming together but there's a growing movement with makers and that kind of thing. So that's one of the primary reasons why open source hardware is going to grow over the near future. The second reason is probably because of the proliferation of data that we can have, that we can actually publish all our ideas far more easily than we could a couple of decades ago. Um, and I think to an extent manufacturers and the industry is probably going to become more open towards open source hardware in itself as it starts to become uh, something of an interest factor just outside, you know, some small numbers of hobbyists. Over the past few decades we've been moving progressively from a society that had direct access to electronics. So a couple of decades ago electronics magazines were very very popular and because of increasing integration we've been distanced from the ability to be able to manipulate and control technology while at the same time technology is becoming increasingly pervasive within our lives. So the educational side is like getting back to being able to empower kids and helping them to be able to understand what computing is, is really about. It's not just something that you open and magically it's all done by robots that uh, just like cord things onto themselves. Um, it's people who understand things in quite a deep way and the whole idea is that kids themselves can be those kind of people in um, all over again, you know, in the next decade and there's a real thrill about having that kind of power, you know, the ability to be able to construct devices of your own design, the ability to be able to program them um, at, at any kind of level, whether it's at a sort of web level where you can like integrate different forms of uh, getting hold of data down to being able to ma manipulate LEDs. Um, all of that is really important. And the only re real way of doing it is to do the equivalent of phonics um, with um, engineering and electronics. It's, it's getting back down to the basic. Nobody would say in their right mind that because War and Peace is a much better book than The Gruffalo that kids should start with War and Peace, you know, and, and maybe just read out the simple words in War and Peace. That would be a crazy thing to say. And the same applies surely to like electronic devices like, like Fignition, which is why it's honed down to absolute simplicity. You can understand it. There's only 16 kilobytes of firmware, 6,000 lines of code. It is comprehensible, so that's, that's what makes it exciting really.